All right, Kevin. Tonight, protecting yourself and your family from a disease that, according to federal health officials, is 10 times worse than previously thought. It's spread by a tick that could be in your own backyard. RTV6 reporter Chris Prophet with our story tonight. The Calderon family is spending a carefree day at the park, but stop and think about this. According to new estimates this week by the Centers for Disease Control, 300,000 people each year contract the tick-borne Lyme disease, a number that's 10 times more common than previously thought. Infections that often begin in places like this. Initially, um, Lyme disease presents as a rash, and then it can progress to um, fever and um, symptoms of flu-like illness. The CDC says the new preliminary estimate confirms that Lyme disease is a tremendous public health problem in the nation and highlights the urgent need for prevention. According to the State Department of Health, there were 63 confirmed cases of Lyme disease last year, but health experts say that figure is likely underreported. And the worst time to be infected is in the spring and also the fall. Lisa King and her children are also on an outing at the park, and they know the health dangers that ticks can cause. My 13-year-old daughter did have a tick that attached once, and I hadn't caught it right away. And so um, I noticed it had a ring-like rash around it, and I took her to the doctor, and um, they put her on antibiotics right away, and she didn't have any problems. While most cases are confined to the northeast and north-central U.S., state health officials suggest checking for ticks and using insect repellents, especially in wooded and grassy areas. I'm kind of worried, but at the same time, we try to do uh, the best we can to, you know, protecting everybody. Protection from a disease that federal health officials say is spreading and becoming a major health problem. Chris Profit, RTV6. Now, most people recover with antibiotics, but left untreated, Lyme disease can cause arthritis and even neurological problems.